Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, YouTube citizens. Hey, um, I titled this thing, I Hate Them. I want to read something out of the Psalms. This is by um, King David, a man after Yah's heart. And it says um, in Psalms 139, verse 20, but read the whole Psalms. For they speak against thee wickedly, and thy enemies take thy name in vain. Do not I hate them, O Lord, O Yahweh, that hate thee, and am I not grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with a perfect hatred. I count them my enemies. Search me, O Elohim, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts, and see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting." Um, the other night I was talking to actually a, a brother, uh, um, a fellow Israelite and, you know, he says he's been seeing the YouTube videos and, you know, he kind of knows me personally. He felt that, um, it comes off a little bitter, like, you know, this, this, it sounds bitter and everything. And, um, I had to really work through that stuff, you know, regarding, um, you know, just the pain of betrayal and everything that I've gone that I've experienced. Um, but guys, I really do hate wickedness. I hate every false ways. I hate I hate anything that rises up against the name of Yeshua HaMashiach and his words and his and his precepts and his commandments. I, I just really do hate that. And um, Christianity represents that for me now. I see that. I wouldn't have seen it if this situation didn't happen to me before, but I see the wickedness of how Christian uh, Christian doctrine is uh, is leading people um, to damnation. It's the blind. It's literally the blind leading the blind. And so, I speak with confidence about what I'm saying about Christianity. I do have a hatred for that doctrine because it's 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 of the devil. It's literally of the devil. And so, I have here. Just things that's happened to me. Now, one of the, you know, I was trying to figure out, like, what do I title this stuff? I mean, people, I have phone records. I have phone records of people that my wife spoke to. And she normally don't speak a lot. She, she texts a lot. But just people that literally, that I just discovered the numbers in here where people literally told me they didn't speak to my wife, they didn't know about this stuff, lied right in my face. Just, just flat out lied, deception, false witness. I mean, I got text messages, text messages, 77 pages of just of one person that goes all the way back to May. This is a person that was supposed to help me. Her name is Christy Piper, Christy Piper from May that goes all the way to Eileen leaving all the way to July 19th. It's all dated. That's how I knew when I met Pastor Dow. That's how I knew when I discovered uh, the dates of how I discovered um, uh, Straightway. Straightway, you wasn't even in the picture until until June it, it, from the text message. I mean, this, I mean, I'm talking about, you know, you hear that there's always two sides to a story. There's the side that I say, there's the side that my wife will be saying, and then it's just a flat out stuff you don't see. Even the deception, even the stuff that my wife had said, but was really motivated. I, you can see the motive all right here. I've already sent this to people. Um, I'm going to have Daniel Murr uh, put out something. He's read this stuff. I, I don't even know. It's, it's 70, 70 pages of literally the devil speaking to this woman named Christy Piper. Literally. You, I mean, the devil fingerprints is all over this conversation. It, it, it reminded me of what it must have looked like when Eve spoke to the devil and how he was able to manipulate her and deceive her to thinking that what she was doing was good. I mean, she literally ate the fruit that her husband told her not to eat of or she will surely die. She literally was convinced that it was good to eat. It was good to gain knowledge of good. It was good and gave it to her husband. I mean, right here, I, guys, this is why I'm so confident 
And in this text, it, impl it, 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 it uh, implicates people in the Christian community in this area, not only in this area, in Iowa, in California, in Tennessee, in, I, 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 I mean, in, in Alabama. I mean, literally. I mean, I, I mean, this is why I feel so confident about why. I mean, I got Facebooks. Facebooks of literally a people that I was, this one I was seeing in real time at the time. This one I got later. I didn't get this until later, like in November. I didn't get the text message. But Facebooks where I can literally be talking to a Christian on the phone acting like he's trying to help. And, and being neutral and saying, hey, how can I help? And literally within minutes, within within an hour, a text message, a, a, a message is going to my wife on Facebook and say, hey, my husband's talking to your husband. Hey, do not come home. Do not come home. Stay where you are. Literally. I have people that have been implied in here that are famous people. If I say their name, you can Google them and find them out. And they're known to be Christian. Two of them, two of them, people that I felt they were trusted friends. So people, here is, here is the motive of why the hate is so strong. It's not even hate for all the people that's involved. It's the hate of the, de I hate the devil and I hate any, any, anything that the devil, and he's used Christians to literally destroy my family and and when I see how this is working, you will know them. The Bible says, Jesus says, you will know them by their fruits. I mean, I see where false accusation, you can even see how they're coming up with a way to, to, to falsely accuse me of child abuse, literally, to use that and put that in my head. I mean, people, this was so wicked on so many different levels, it's not even funny. I have names that my wife originally gave me of the people she spoke this thing to. And then from the text messages and the Facebooks and, and just audio where I was able to get 10 more names to people that she tried to hide. And two of them are the famous people, the two famous people that she literally gave me a list of names but didn't, but didn't reveal all the other stuff. I had to find that out through all of these text messages. That's how I knew about Fred. I mean, I... Guys, I can't. This is all from Eileen's phone. Unless she just, unless, unless Eileen, who is a, who is a, a poster child for Christianity, because they took her testimony over mine. In, in the Bible, you didn't even take a woman's testimony wasn't even as equal to the man's testimony. That's the law. That was the law back then, and it's still. I mean, God's law is perfect. A woman's testimony, one woman testimony, wouldn't in. in, in and God's green would not even be able to stand against a man. But in Christianity, a woman's testimony trumps a man. a man. You don't even need to hear the man's testimony. I mean, it's just one, one aspect you see, man, man, you can see that the law of Yah is beautiful. It can be trusted. You see, you, you see the reality of how good. I mean, who can write the book? Who could write the law the way the law was written? How did the law know the, 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 the nature of humanity? The nature of the different sexes and stuff like that. I mean, I'm, I can't make this up. I mean, just text. I have all these information. So when I speak about the passion and why I'm putting this out on YouTube is because I have confidence of what I'm speaking of. I have proof. Confirmation, verify, I mean, it's all been verified, combed through. I mean, look, I'm not making this thing up. I and mean, this is just paper copy. I mean, look at, ta you can see tabs, marking them up. I mean, this, people, I mean, I've, I, I, I've sat here and examined this like watching film. It's like watching film. And literally, I can see the devil's hampering. I've even shown this, I even re gave this to her, Christy Piper, Robert Piper. I gave this to her husband. And he thought nothing of it. I gave this to Pastor Mike LeClaire. Pastor Mike LeClaire has this. Still waiting for a meeting. Still waiting for a meeting because he needs, I, I want, because he, he just heard one side. So I went, I had to go to another pastor, Pastor Bob. 
Um, I can't pronounce his last name right now, but Pastor Bob of, um, I can't even think of the church uh, right now. They moved too. But anyway, a Woodland Church, Pastor Bob from uh, the senior pastor of Woodland Church went to him because our church, the church I used to go to, Living Hope Church, don't have anybody outside of there, the, the elders. And they weren't doing what they need to be doing. I'm here trying to do a Matthew 18. When the when your brothers, you go to him one on one. If that you do, what happens when you have people who was involved at multiple churches, multiple churches? I mean, it was so overwhelming. I was literally trying to do the Matthew 18. It's like I, I'm here trying to get my family back at the time, and then I'm just, reports are coming. In. I'm, I'm getting information that Yah has. I mean, what was done in the dark is being exposed in the light, and I'm like, I couldn't even keep up with the names. I'm talking about, it's just, it just, do you go to every single person? Do you, then if that doesn't work, who church you? Do you go to their church? Do you go to a, a church I didn't have? I mean, it, it just got to the point where it just became, it, it became a web that you didn't even know. I even know that there was a team of people that was to isolate me. They were told not to speak to me. And only few people were told to speak to me. They were doing an intervention. That's what, the, in the name of intervention, they were born part of a cult. Even, even, even implication of trying to, Make it seem like I had CT, CTE or, you know, brain damage because I played football thinking that, oh, maybe you have CT. But guys, I say all of this to tell you this stuff. This is the wickedness that in all of this stuff. The Packer had a Hall of Fame dinner. That was the day. And I can't think of the date, but that was the day. It was, it was literally my wife left that Wednesday. I was going to do the uh, go to the Packer dinner and then the following week I was going to go to Passover. I mean, to go to straightway. That was that was the plan. But my wife left on the Wednesday. So I ended up go I, and literally when I went that, that leading up to the uh, Packer Hall of Fame um, dinner, uh, I think it was Donald Driver uh, being inducted to the uh, Packer Hall of Fame. I literally was not planning to go. I was going to hang myself. I was going to kill myself. I can understand when somebody goes through this type of abuse. You, you talk about the emo. I can understand what goes through the mind. The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He doesn't come to play with you. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And he used a whole bunch of Christians that I thought were my friends. Christians. I'm just flat out Christian and Catholic. But Let's just put them all in the Christian circle because it, it all comes from the same place of the devil. So when I speak of this stuff, it can't just be happening to me. And it all changed when I decided to keep the commandments of Yah. That's when it all changed. And I didn't know that I had a, 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 a Trojan horse in my own home. I didn't know that that was my wife. But I've been, and I'm going to tell you my story, but this is what I'm trying to figure out. How do I, how do I tell my testimony to explain this to you guys? Because this is where it starts getting crazy and monkey. Because I have my version of what I thought before all this came in. And then I, obviously now I'm fit, all the banks are being filled in. So I'm, I know information that I didn't know before, but they literally would have left me looking crazy. I went, knocked on every door, calling people. Trying to get them to hear my story, and it was like I mean, somebody got to them. They didn't believe me. I, I was, and now I know why. I know why. My wife would say, "Oh, you're going around talking to everybody, trying to make you know get your story," but she did it before me. She got to all of these Christians. They didn't come and talk to me. I got little pieces here and there, but I'm telling you, if I didn't have this, if I didn't have evidence, but really. Before I had all this, Yah was gracious, very gracious in the early stage to send me one man. One man. And it's the very man that everybody's telling me to leave. It's the very man that they're telling me to leave. And it was Pastor Dow. Pastor Dow is that man. In the early stage, he is the one that is why I'm standing, sitting in this seat right now, speaking to the, in this camera right now. It was Pastor Dow who gave me the strength that I needed so that I could live to see another day. He took the time to take my call. He took the time to talk to me for hours, coaching me. 
encouraging me, edifying me, rebuking me. Re and, and, and when I say rebuking me, it was like it was I already know, so it was not to really rebuke. I already, my the scales came on, just saying, "Hey, that's love. That's love." But the Christians who are my pastor Dow didn't even know me. He's just getting to know me. Didn't even give a dime to his ministry. And he took the time to do this for me. And all the people where I gave at least at least six figures was nowhere to be found. You would think, I mean, some people say, well, Kabir, we can't help you because you're not part of our church. Oh, Kabir, we can't help you until you come to our church. I mean, people was literally extort, using this, using my, my situation to extort me, to get me to go to their church before they help me. Before they help me. I mean, how wicked. I mean. Man, God, God that, that's the part that, is that bitter? Well, you tell me, you judge me. Am I being bitter? Because I don't want this to happen to other people. I want you guys to know I was fortunate to be able to get information like this. I was fortunate to have people like Pastor Dow that Yah put in my life to give me another day. I literally, really, I, I, I truly believe in my heart that the plan was that I was going to be dead. I would have hung myself. Here's, here's how it would have happened. KGB didn't show up to the Packer Hall of Fame. Missing. They find out. They go into the house, see him hanging off the banister of his home. Because that's what I was thinking of. Hanging. And then, report comes, KGB had CT from playing football. That's it. Because even in here, it was even implied that maybe you know you have CT. Just try to put that out there. That he's, got, he's lost his mind. And so people, and this is getting longer than I want to, but it's okay. Because I, it's, if, it, if it gets too long, it's for the people that is going through this stuff. It's an encouragement to you. You're not crazy. If you have decided to keep the commandments of Yah, then there is an op, there is a there is a 100% chance that the devil is after you. And he comes to steal, kill, and destroy and so I'm here to testify it's true. So be encouraged. Stay the course. Resist the devil. Stand firm to the end. You will be attacked. You will be persecuted. People will try to make you look crazy. They will look, give you evil eye. They revile you. They will scoff at you. They will falsely accuse you. I, I'm telling you right here, I was a man of good character, still a man of good character. It doesn't matter what the Christian says about me. I'm still a man of good character because I am a commandment keeper. But they was able to take a man in, the, in Christianity who was considered a pillar in the community, responsible, a good husband, a good father. I was a child whisperer to, to, to all of a sudden, just like, I'm talking, just like this, became a child abuser. By the testimony of one person. By the testimony of a woman. I mean, it's crazy, people. I even have here how my wife knew within two weeks, two weeks, she, she, she didn't have grounds not to go on this trip. Two weeks where she literally was looking for grounds of not going on this trip. I, I mean, I have it right here. Have it right here. Where she's saying, I need to find grounds. She was looking for grounds not to go on this trip. I, I wish I had it right here. You, you, you see how, I mean, Tapo, I was talking about the whole Filipino thing. Like some people actually did try to speak truth to her. And she um, basically um, just ignored them. Just literally just ignored them. Just ignored their text. I mean, right, look at this. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm going to tell this person, but look, it says we have, I mean, this is her planning with this woman. Okay, we have two weeks to for God to do something. What grounds can I give on how I would keep the kids from going? He said, if I refuse, he's bringing them. I made my decision. We deliberated. We talked. Boom. This is this is July. I mean, literally, let me, guys, I'm not making this thing up. I know it seems like it. I guess July 11th. So this is nine days before, this is not even two, we were going to leave two weeks from what she was talking about, but she, this was within nine days. Within nine days, she had no grounds, and I have recording. 
that I got off of her old phone because she gave it to my son and he came to me and I confiscated and I found this is where I find this is how I found all this information. I would I wouldn't have known about this stuff if if I didn't confiscate my because my phone my son is not supposed to have a phone. And then I looked at it. I'm like, because I was looking to see if he had text with, you know, I want, you know, I'm a parent. I should know who he's talking to, whatever. I, I didn't even know he had this. So my wife just gave it to him. And this is where I found, I mean, she left all of this. That means my son could have saw all this stuff. And I just made copies of it. I mean, right here, how do we keep them from happening? I don't want to, con listen to this. This is a Christian woman speaking to a supposedly Christian counselor or deliverance counselor. And you know straightway is a deliverance ministry. How do I keep that from happening? I don't want to, listen, I don't want to contribute to hurting or bringing confusion slash division for the kids any more than I have. My wife literally admits she has caused confusion and division for the kids that she's already had. She's done right there. Right there. And, and when I wish I could just post this stuff. I, I'm trying to figure it's her numbers exposed. And I don't want her, you know, I, I, may, I may post it so you guys can just look at this stuff. But here's the thing that I found out about Christianity in Israel. The Israelites. Well, I, I, let me just say Pastor Dow because, but, is, but, but I, see, I see the same trait in all of the people at Straightway that I've met. Okay. I tell Pastor Dow my story. Pastor Dow don't need all this. Pastor Dow has not even seen this. Pastor Dow don't even, he didn't even, he didn't need this. I found this later. I told you Pastor Dow helped me early in, in July. That's when he was helping me. Pastor Dow didn't even see it one, he didn't even see this. I, I don't even think Pastor Dow, Pastor Dow, if I send this to Pastor Dow, I would just say keep it for safety if something happens to me for proof. But Pastor Dow, he doesn't even need to see this stuff. And here's what Pastor Dow says. He knows the law. That's what he basically, he asks you a couple of questions. Based off of your question, are you feeding your wife? Do you provide for her? Do you, do you, do, do you, I mean, do you, I mean, food, shelter, conjure rights. Okay. And then he can see it because they think, he thinks with a concrete, he thinks with concrete mindset. He has a concrete type of mindset. So he can see, okay, yep, he, I can see he provide. Do you, have you abused it? I said, nope. I was considered a child wizard. He just, you know, he's going off my testimony. He's, you know, he's discerning, you know. And then he says, okay, uh, from my wife. He can't, he can't talk to my wife. I wanted to come up here. You know, I called you. And she didn't want to come. And, and she took the children. I mean, Pastor Dow didn't need all this stuff. But you know who need this stuff? Christians. I finally start getting Christians to start seeing my perspective. It took months me trying to explain to them based off of the, trying to use concrete ways of explaining to them, but the, they, they don't think concrete. They think abstract. So this is the best concrete I can. This is where you can at least, and it's not even guaranteed. It's not even guaranteed, but this is where you may actually get a Christian to acknowledge, okay, I see your point. Christians need... They need a lot of evidence, a lot of ev good evidence, but they don't use the Bible. They, they have to see it. They have to touch it. I got to touch your side to know, you know, like a Thomas. They're, they don't know how to judge because they don't know the law. They don't have the truth in them, so they don't judge. And so you have to give them stuff like this to give them an opportunity to say, okay, I see your point. This will just only confirm what Pastor Dow already knew. This, if Pastor Dow reads this stuff, it's just going to confirm that's it. But he didn't need all this information. He was able to he was able to judge the matter like this. And he should. According to first chapter first Corinthians six, it says that 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 you guys should be able to judge the small matters because you're gonna be judging the world and angels. So anyway, I say all this to say this. This has got way long. This is 24 minutes, but it's it, this is this is this is me just answering the question. I, I hate I hate anyone that hates Jesus. I hate those. I hate any workers of any community, any false. I hate it with a passion. And I want to, this is an encouragement to all you people that have decided to keep the commandments of Yah. You will be persecuted. The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. I will be, I will be wicked if I kept this situation to myself. That's what all the Christians want to do. Keep it to yourself. This is what they say. Sit still and know that he's God. Just get on your knees, pray. Don't talk to anybody. Just stay isolated. So I can just shrivel up. 
just sit there and get cancer and hold all this stuff inside myself, knowing that literally there's people that I, that, that my face, that they're using videos, they're using videos, telling where I'm saying, man, Christian's the way to go, go to any Christian church. No, I am, I am recanting. I'm taking it all back. Christianity is not biblical. I am here to testify. Christianity is not biblical. And the reason why I know it is because the, you will know them by their fruits. All of the people that was a part of destroying my family, that is the fruit of Christianity. It was not, you can't, I can't blame a heathen. I can't, I'm talking about pastors. Pastors won't even talk to me because they don't know the word. I, I'm telling you, all of these people, or Christian organizations. So let me end on this note. I have evidence that is just, it, it, it's, 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 Catholic, this is a Catholic lawyer that literally told my wife how to write a letter up. Bankers, Christian banker that I used to work with. I mean, they're all from different churches. It's not like just one church. There's different churches. I mean, there's extortion. There's manipulation, false accusations. I mean, all types of, the, all, the, this is the fruit of Christianity. Now, somebody made this case, say, well, Kabir, you, you went to a charismatic church. In Christianity, you know, we call it charismatic, you know, believe in you know, gift of the spirits and speaking in tongues and stuff. You're right. But the people that were involved range all the way from Catholicism to Presbyterian, all the way down to the charismatic. I mean, it covers all of them. All from, but, but you're right. Most of this is from the charismatic uh, side. I will admit to that. And then the ones that were more like more close to more I, it's worth for me to even say this because I know what biblical is. But people that probably will consider themselves more biblically based and not not necessarily into that whole um, charismatic, but just more Bible based. Even those people were part of it. They were part of it. People that went to colleges, went to a Christian college and they got their MDiv, whatever you call it, a uh, degree in um, divinity. Pastor Dow don't have all that. All he has is the Holy Spirit. And the word of Yah. And he lives it. He lives it. And he was the only one that sounded closer to the Bible than all of the other people. All the other people were taking me to another book and taking me to the philosophy and tradition and whatever, traditions of men. The only person in the early stage that was closer to the Bible that I've been reading for 16, 17 years read it at least a minimum, I guess I lost count, I did, but at least seven times. The only person that was close to that Bible was Pastor Dow. <laughs> I mean, I don't have to study all of the different counterfeit. All you got to do is study the truth. And then when you hear, you go, oh, that guy, he knows the word. What? Because I, I know the book. Now, I now even have more understanding of the book, but I could tell who was more following this book. Pastor Dow hands down follows that the Holy Bible. He follows the Holy Bible. When he says he's a commandment keeper, he is a commandment keeper. The Christians are not commandment keepers. And then the Bible says, those that, that says they know me and don't keep his commandments are liars. So I'm here to tell you, Christianity is a liar. Because when they start saying that the law is done away, they're liars. They know him and they don't even keep his commandment. They're liars. So anyway, I just want, guys, I mean, I, I, I'm, I am trying to take a negative and turn it into a positive. I'm trying to use, I, I'm, I'm telling you, I was, Google me, Google me. You, you, you won't hear a bad thing about me. Even when I got cut from the Green Bay Packers, I handled that with class. I am considered a class act kind of, I mean, I mean that, that's, that is a class act kind of, that's how I was described. Very respected in the community. Good with my finance. I mean, people use me as a poster child to say, this is what it should look like. I mean, I'm the kind of guy that if I'm going to do something, I want to be my very best. And now that I'm an Israelite, I want to be the very best Israelite. I want to be the very best commandment keeper that I can be. And so if they can make me think that I'm crazy, and even get to the point that I almost thought about committing suicide. 
And, and, and then when you see all the prayers and the manipulation, sometimes we say, okay, we're going to go to this council. I'll talk to one guy and he would prefer, but I found out Eileen already talked to him. It's all right here. I, it's all right here. I mean, it was, it was that type of stuff. Like you, like now, and when I was thinking about, I said, okay, I'm talking to this guy. I'm thinking he's giving me a fair shot. But then the whole time, what I didn't know until later was Eileen, they already was, they were already trying to make it seem like they're trying to hear me, but the whole time they were really trying to under, they were, they were going to basically side with Eileen at the end of the day. They were just trying to get me to sit in and go through their counseling session. I'm, I'm talking about counselors, people who are tra trained counselor already, somebody already talked to them, say, hey, this guy's in a cult. But, you know, act like you, you know, you can relate to him and stuff like this. So, he, you know, boom. And then once I got in, boom, then we'll be talking. They'll make it seem like it's neutral. And then, boom, it'll be all focused on me. And that's where I, that's where Eileen can always pick which counseling. Eileen was determining all the counseling. I can I'm, I was always limited to the counselors that Eileen wanted to go to. I never get to pick. And if I pick, it looks like I picked, but I didn't really pick. I was forced to pick those because that's the only one Eileen would go to. I want to sit down with Pastor Dow and Sister Carol for me and Eileen, but she won't do that. I even said, let's get Pastor Dow, Sister Carol, and get so she can pick somebody and let us all sit down in the room and let's talk. We can't do that. She said, nope. So, and Pastor Dow, what do you say about Pastor Dow? He's willing to come all the way up here and help me in my marriage. Pastor Ray, eventually he came along. Pastor Ray's willing to drive up here. I can't even get a pastor who's literally within 10 minutes from where I live. He's not even willing to meet with me and Eileen. Not willing. So anyway, this got very long, but this is for those. I, I'm not, this is not for a short, 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 short thing. These are for the people that needs to hear this stuff. I don't even care if this only have two or three views. These are for the people who need encouragement. I am putting this out here because I'm letting you know you're not crazy. Be encouraged. Fight the good fight of faith. Hang in there. You're not crazy. I was fortunate to find all this stuff. If I didn't find all this stuff, I would have thought I was crazy. And I, I'm a very intelligent man. I would, I'm, I'm a faithful man. I do my due diligence and they almost got me thinking I was crazy to the point that I thought there was no hope that I was going to hang myself on the banister of my own house. And the Christians was hoping and I really believe in the deep of my heart that I, I believe that that's what they were hoping for. Because then they can write the script and then they can tell the story and say, oh, he had depression, CT, they can make it all up. And I wouldn't be alive to tell my story. And now I'm telling my story because I don't even know if my life is even safe right now. Because I am going to rip this community up. I'm going to rip it up. Because I hate, the, I hate the devil. And I hate his wicked ways. And I love Yah. And I love his people. And I'm going to get as many people as I can get out of those wicked churches in this community. I will. Why would I not do that? If I know the truth, why wouldn't I share the gospel? The true gospel. Why wouldn't I not do that? That would be wicked. Then the blood will be on my head. Ezekiel, go warn the people, regardless if they listen or not. Warn them. If you turn a wicked man away, you not only saved his life, you saved your life. Go warn. If you go warn the, uh, the righteous man and you don't warn him, he all his things that he's done will be forgotten. And the blood will be on your head. But if you warn him, you, turn, you, you save a good man, a righteous man. That's it, people. That's it. So if you hear this passion, I am passionate. I have once been described several, many times by my, by my wife that I'm a man after Yah's heart. By, you say God's heart. I'm like a King David. So I, I'm, I'm passionate. So this is not bitter. If my wife wanted to come to this house right now and wanted to move back in, I mean, it will be some conditions. Don't get me wrong because we will have to work some stuff out because of the lack of trust. But I will accept her to come back. I want her to come back right now. I want her to come back. I don't know how bitter. I, I don't think I'm bitter. Am I, am I hurt? But at the same time, my wife is blinded. She can't see. She's literally blinded. You don't get mad when somebody can't. If I go to Stephen Wonder and say, Stephen Wonder, how come you can't see me? I mean, you're not going to be mad at him. I mean, you're going to be frustrated that he can't see you, but you're not going to be bitter towards him if he can't see. So, I wish my wife can see. I'm frustrated that she can't see because 
Her not seeing is putting me, her and my children in danger. So you better believe I'm frustrated. But bitter, what, I, this, the pain that I'm, the pain that I'm experiencing is self-inflicted actually. Because if I want this pain to go away, I can make the pain go away just like this. Maybe it'll take some time, but I can do it like this. All I got to do is go back to my wife, get on my knees, get on my face and beg her to take me back and acquiesce and capitulate and all of this thing will be over. All of it will be over. It's self-inflicted. So who am I going to be bitter towards? I know that I'm going through what I'm going through because I've chosen life. I've chosen to lose my life. I've chosen to not save my life so that because I didn't want to lose my life. And I decided to lose my life believing that I'm going to save my life. I am doing it. So what am I going to be bitter towards? I'm frustrated. You better believe I'm frustrated. I have seven children, eight children who I love dearly. And I and, and there's nothing that I can do humanly impossible right now to get them back but pray. But I'm not going to sit here, wallow in my misery, and sit in a corner and pray. And then I have this great story that I can take out there and encourage thousands, maybe millions. I don't know who I'm encouraging. I know a woman in, in, uh, in Australia. That was encouragement. Thank you for that. The woman in Australia, thank you. Because you encouraged me to continue fighting the good fight, to continue getting the story. All of you guys telling me, Kabir, keep on running. Keep on doing that. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. And I'm going to keep doing this stuff. I don't care. I know the devil wants to shut this lips up. I'm not. I'm not. I'm passionate. Am I bit? You guys tell me. The ones who took the time to get all the way up to, what is this? I'm at 36 minutes. All of you guys that took the time to listen to this, you tell me, am I bitter? Am I bitter? I'm frustrated. I'm angry. I'm angry at the devil. I hate that devil with a perfect hatred. You better believe it, I hate him. I hate anybody that rise up against my, my, my king. You better believe it. If that's bitter, search me. Search me, oh Lord. And see if there's any wicked ways in me. I, I have to do that. But you better, I have hate. I hate them. I hate every ways of the devil. I hate that wicked devil. So anyway, I love you guys. I love you. I'm putting my stuff out here. I'm being poured out like an offer. I mean, I'm being poured out. I'm putting my business out there. I could be like those typical celebrities and try to keep my thing private and try to look good. And, you know, we just had an irreconcilable difference. And I could do that. But who cares? I just lost my job, too. That's news. I just, I, I, you know, because of all these YouTubes, I've lost my job. But guess what? Every time I lose something, every time I lose something, I experience more freedom to share the gospel and not have to worry about, I'm going to lose this, I'm going to hurt this person. Every time I'm willing to lose my life, I'm saving it for eternity. That's key. I know it's weird. You would think like, oh, I lost my job. I lost my job. Oh, I lost my wife. I love I, 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 you go you go through those emotions because I'm in we are creatures we have emotions but every time I lose something that burden of trying to hold on to it continue when I when I sell this house guess what I'm gonna man that's one less thing I have to this is a, this is a big house that'll be one less thing I have to worry about and I can focus more in the kingdom so anyway let me end this please. If you took the time to listen to all of this stuff, tell me, am I bitter? I hate them, but am I bitter? Am I bitter? And if I am bitter, love me enough to tell me, Kabir, I, I believe you bitter. And then just give me biblical reason why you think I'm bitter. If I'm handling this situation wrong. And if you think that I'm doing right and, and, and encouraging, then please, you know, you can say that. You can always say that. But I like to hear the, I like to hear the other side. I'm not, I'm not this guy that just want to hear what I want to hear. I don't want to just hear what my itching was. I want the truth and the straight way. Anyway, shalom, shalom. Love you.